Hey guys, Joe back at you again. Another episode of Heating Up. Um, I did go to the post office today and I received a, uh, a gift from a friend on online. Um, I believe it was Chasing Capsaicin or one of those groups. He um, asked who wanted to try some sample sauces and give reviews so he can see if he's going to um, produce said sauces. So um, I will, he gave me a, a letter with it. And uh, I will read you the letter, um, and then we'll go from there. It says, thank you so much for volunteering to try my sauce and provide a review. Then it says, as a reminder, here are the three sauces I posted. And I'll skip down, and then we'll do the sauces after. It says, each one is labeled with the starting letter shown above. Um, my story is one of family and love when it comes to peppers. I started growing peppers and gardening with my to-be wife about 30 years ago, and I've been doing it ever since. My father-in-law passed away three years ago, so my wife, kids, and mother-in-law continue to maintain the garden in his honor. I started making sauces about two years ago, and I've been trying to perfect my craft and to get the word out. My sauce is labeled under the name of Magic Dirt Farm. This name was given to the garden by a fellow chili head who grew peppers but was constantly in awe of the amount of peppers our garden would pump out. I give all credit to my father-in-law, as I am just a guy who wanted to plant some peppers and date a pretty girl. When you receive the sauce, please enjoy and provide your candid feedback. If you are a Facebook Live kind of person, please let me know when you do the review. If you are a YouTube reviewer, please advise when you do the review and publish. If neither of the above, please go back to my original posting, provide your review, and tag me when you do. If you like the sauces and would like to purchase going forward, I normally sell them for $10 each, including shipping. And it says, thanks, Scott Lippy, Magic Dirt Farm. So yes, this is from Scott Lippy. Thank you so much, sir. Um, the three sauces that he sent me are called Mango Unchained, To Kill a Mockingbird, which is pretty cool, and The Jerk. So he sent me these three. You can see three little bottles of sauce for sample review. Um, they are labeled T for To Kill a Mockingbird, J for The Jerk, and M for Mango Unchained. Um, pardon me, guys. My chair is falling. Ah, all right. Oh no. There we go. Sorry, guys. So uh, I'm gonna start with the the mango unchained. I will. Man, I'm a mess. I will not be tainting these sauces. I'll leave a link in the description for Johnny Scoville's Mother of Pearl Spoon. Um, so as far as getting a hold of Scott, I'm assuming um, he's going to just be on Facebook or Messenger, which is how I got a hold of him. Um, I'll look to see if he has a link to this, um, the Magic Dirt Farm, but I'm not quite sure. But the Mango Unchained is fresh mango and grilled pineapple paired with yellow hots, yellow bell pepper, onion, garlic, agave, salt, and cardamom. Um, and apple cider vinegar. So, a little shaky shake. Definitely get the, the mango and the pineapple right away. Yellow bell pepper, onion, and the vinegar. It smells delicious. So, I will be not tainting, like I said. So here's the pour. Alright, this is Joe from Heating Up. This is Mango Unchained from Magic Dirt Farm and Scott Lippy. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Very sweet from the pineapple and the agave and the mango. Very fruity sauce. This would be a this would be a really good dessert sauce on ice cream. Um, um, heat for me, you know, it bumps my needle. It's not uh, not a scorcher, but the flavor is great.
I would definitely recommend this if you guys like fruity sauces. It almost reminds me of like a like a pineango sauce kind of. Um, doesn't have the the same heat, but this is great, Scott. Um, so again, this was mango unchained, and I will wash the palate out so I can try the next one. This next one is To Kill a Mockingbird. Smoked peppers, orange bell peppers, tequila, lime, roasted garlic, onion, agave, apple cider vinegar, salt, and a hint of cumin. So I'm not quite sure what kind of peppers are in here. Um, all the other than smoked peppers. So we'll give this a smell here. Yeah, you can get the smokiness for sure. Roasted garlic and onion. I can definitely smell the cumin. Alright, this is Joe from Heating Up. This is To Kill a Mockingbird. Nice consistency. Alright, here you go. Cheers, guys. Definitely get that garlic and the vinegar, um, and the agave gives it a nice sweetness, and you can get taste the smokiness from the peppers. Um, I wish I would know what peppers are in this. But that's a great sauce too, Scott. Definitely the sweetness and the vinegar. So that was To Kill a Mockingbird. Definitely recommend this one as well. This one didn't have any heat for me at all. Um, again, my tolerance is high right now. So for someone that doesn't ever eat anything hot, that could be a three or four. Um, but the flavor's on point. Uh, And this one here is the jerk. This one he said was the hot one. So this one has seven pot chocolates and a few other random super hots. Tomato, red and orange bell peppers, apple cider vinegar, honey, onion, garlic, salt, and Caribbean jerk seasoning. You can right away the, the jerk seasoning, the onion, the garlic, and I can tell this pepper's in here. I can tell this one's going to be a little warmer, I think. A little thicker sauce. Alright, it's Joe from Heating Up, and this is the jerk from Magic Dirt Farm and Scott Lippy. Cheers, guys. That one's really good. This almost tastes like a barbecue sauce to me. Um, you can taste the tomato in it. And again, the honey and the um, red and orange bell peppers definitely give it a sweetness. This will be great on uh, chicken or steak. Sorry, guys. Hmm. This one's a good one too. Um, if I had any, if I had a suggestion, Scott, um, I would definitely go up on the heat a little bit on this one. This one doesn't uh, moves my needle, but again, if uh, if you don't eat anything hot, this might come in at a four or five. But for me, flavor definitely overrides heat sometimes and uh, 
I love a good flavorful sauce. And these three here are definitely all flavorful, all flavor bombs to me. Um, so thank you very much, Scott, for the samples. Um, hopefully this review helps you. Um, if you got, if you start producing this, I am definitely going to be on your to buy list. Um, so keep me in mind. Um, I'll share the word, and um, I will uh, try to find uh, your Facebook. I'll put your Facebook page in the description, and um, I'm not sure if you have if Magic Dirt Farm is on uh, online or on Facebook, but I'll definitely throw your Facebook page there um, so people can get a hold of you on Messenger and uh, go from there. But again, that was my review of Scott Lippy's, <coughs> excuse me. Mango Unchained, <coughs> excuse me, To Kill a Mockingbird, and The Jerk. Very blessed to be able to do this for you, and uh, very thankful that you sent me these to review. So, appreciate you. Um, this is, I'm three subs away, like I said, from 200. Um, so, looking forward to doing something special for you guys. Uh, that did not break, so thank God. And, yeah, so... This was another episode of Heating Up. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, tell someone you love them. Give them a hug. And as always, this is Joe from Heating Up, and I'll catch you on the next one.